right, everybody. Episode 21 on the road again with Shaggy. And we're going to see how this works this time. I just tried to record before and I found a problem. This new 360 degree camera does not like being hot. Evidently, you step up in technology and guess what? Heat doesn't work. Heat doesn't uh, go so well with it. So, cool it down and we're going to try this again. Uh, as I said when I tried it before that you don't know about, um, haven't heard a whole lot about what you guys think regarding the 360 degree view. If it's good, if it's bad, you know, what? So, if you don't mind, drop me a comment below, either in the Facebook page or on uh, YouTube, Twitter, wherever, and let me know if you like being able to see what I see. Um, if you don't know that you can do that, just take your mouse and click around while you're viewing the video and you can see, hey, new construction. Uh, you can see all over while I'm driving. If you do get car sick, probably not a great idea, as Colin's mom found out. Uh, while we're talking about it, uh, let's get into the news. Uh, one article I'll talk about on our way to the client is there's a DJ, I don't even remember where he's at, but who uh, decided to quit his job over what he claims is his free speech rights. Now, um, I'm all for free speech, but I think a lot of people don't understand what exactly it means. Now, you will notice during our radio show that we try not to bring up politics. One of the reasons why is because several of us work for the government. And um, while that's definitely a, a very political place, you know, we don't want to rock the boat one way or the other there. Mike also does not talk about his job at BC and C Communications because, you know, it, it's one, it's just not cool. And you know, two, because we know that his opinion is his opinion and we don't want to push the topic, okay? But also, neither, nothing that we said about either his company or our state would really be covered under, uh, you know, uh, freedom of speech. We have, now, that's not to say entirely. We have the right to say those things. The government couldn't come in and arrest us, throw us in jail for saying anything about Mike's company, the state of the government, the state of the nation, whatever it be, all right? They couldn't do that. That is what freedom of the speech means. It means you are allowed to say whatever you like without free fear of reprisal from the government, federal for sure, all right? Um, what it does not allow, or what it does not keep you from is repercussions of your actions. So, for example, and I think we talked about this before, the West ba Westboro Baptist Church idiots that, you know, uh, do the God hates fags uh, at, you know, soldiers funerals, those guys, you know, they're covered under free speech to say what they want. They're not covered under free speech to not get thrown out of hotels, all right? Or, you know, yelled at by another group who opposes their view, all right? That is the greatest thing. I think Andrew Shepard from the American President said it best. If you want to prove that this country has, is a, has a freedom of speech, you would spend a lifetime yelling at the top of your lungs what someone else would spend a lifetime opposing at the top of theirs. All right, or something. I know I screwed that quote up, but it's great. All right, you want a great presidential speech. All right, there are two. Independence Day, all right, that's a great one and the American president. Those two movies, great presidential speeches. If you know of another one, if there is another great presidential speech in a movie or television show that I am missing, all right, put them in the comments below. Reply back with what another great presidential speech is and maybe we'll do a countdown of great presidential speeches. But right now I only know two and I think those two are both almost tied, all right? But, because uh, anytime you can work, uh, we will not go silently into the night. We will survive. Uh, awesome. All right. And uh, just American President, if you haven't seen it, great date night movie. All right. Uh, so, getting back to what I was saying. So, freedom of speech allows you to say whatever you want without reprisal from the government, but not from other people. 
all right? Freedom of speech doesn't keep you from getting your ass kicked by the guy down the street when you tell him that Trump is an asshole, all right? Doesn't happen, all right? Now, he'll go to jail for assault, but he won't go to jail for violating your freedom of speech, all right? Uh, in fact, there was a court case just here recently that said that hate speech is allowed under the First Amendment, all right? In addition, there was a patent case, uh, a copyright case, I think, trademark maybe, that said that the trademark office and the copyright office could not turn down requests for copywriting and trademarking of offensive slogans, all right, or material that was deemed offensive because that was violating the petitioner's First Amendment rights, all right? So that shows you how much that, you know, the context doesn't matter, all right, of what you're saying. But anyway, getting back to this DJ here, this DJ said that he was being oppressed. No, he wasn't. The boss said, hey, don't talk political anymore, all right? Don't, don't give us your negative view on Trump on the radio anymore. That's a boss telling his employee what's expected of him at his job, all right? That was nothing about his political, you know, was it about his political stance? Yes, but it wasn't saying, hey, in your private life, you can't discuss this. He was saying on work time, uh, you know, on works airways, the airways that the owner owns and operates and is responsible for, don't do this behavior, All right? And I guess he had been told that several times. And the boss finally said, you do it one more time, I'm gonna have to let you go. And at that point, the guy said, Fine, I'm just going to leave if you won't let me talk about it anymore. One, it's the boss's right to tell him what content is allowed on the air. Two, it's the, it's the DJ's right to say, fine, I quit. All right? But for the DJ to say it was a violation of his, of his First Amendment rights is stupid. Also, you read more into the article and you find out that the DJ has a criminal history of check fraud. All right? So I think this DJ made a very poor decision okay there aren't that many industries that you can get into and not just industries but I don't think there's that many employers that will take someone who has a felony because that's what this guy has a felony on his record and say oh yeah sure we'll take you in now that's not to say that felons don't deserve a second chance they most certainly do all right in fact I had a conversation with somebody the other day who was talking about an oil change place that he went to and he said oh you go behind the counter and everybody's got a, a, a ankle bracelet on now he wasn't talking about a piece of jewelry that women wear at the beach no he was talking about that they all have trackers on because uh, house arrest or whatever and I'm like well but I would much rather they be out and working than clogging up either a prison cell or just laying around the house so I definitely believe in giving people a second chance. But this guy had a second chance. And in my mind, he kind of blew it. Now, did he blow it, you know, in a criminal way? No, not unless we find out that he was going down that same path again. Um, but I think that he was looking a great opportunity in the face and, and just decided to, that, you know, what he wanted to say was more important. And I think he's going to have trouble finding a job not just because you know really the radio market's dying but also because if he, what he demonstrated wasn't that he had uh, high morals or that he was willing to to do whatever for a cause what he demonstrated was that he doesn't care what you tell him as a rule he will do his own thing which who wants that person as an employee you know nobody wants that person as an employee uh, working for them. I wouldn't want that person. I want somebody that's going to follow what they're told. Now I will, most employers will allow you a little bit of leeway, especially in that type of uh, situation, in that type of environment, to build your own personality. But in the end, you still have to tow the company line. All right. And if you don't like it, there's the door. And that's basically what the guy was told. You don't like it, there's the door. Get out. So I don't feel sorry for the guy. I don't think it was a First Amendment issue, and from the commenters on the article, I think it's about a 50-50 split, and I think the 50 that are supporting of the DJ 
just don't understand what it really means. All right? They don't understand what, what it really means at all. And that's kind of sad. But like I said, this is also why we don't get in... We try not to get into political topics a lot. I mean, we really do try. It's difficult. It's really super difficult nowadays. And the DJ made that comment. He said, in today's, in today's climate, if you want to talk about anything that's topical, all right, your choices are the Kardashians i.e. reality new reality television or the current political administration all right those are your big two choices and you know we strive to find new content something to talk about you know putting stuff on face the celebrity death pool is great for us for that reason because at least it gives us something else for god's sakes to talk about Anyway, we are about to our destination, so I will see you on the next trip. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. And also tell all your friends about this and tell me what you think about the 360 degree view camera. Very curious to know whether you like it, you don't like it, and uh, what you think of the topics. As always, willing to talk about whatever you want to. Uh, this is obviously a conversation, so looking forward to your input. Till then, see you on the next trip.